Hey everybody, it's K9 Prepper here once again. I want to welcome you to my channel. And uh, for everyone that's new, I want to thank you for tuning in. And if you can, please subscribe and share the videos and like them if you can also. In the description below, you see where the website link is. And uh, if you can, just click on that. And there's a form on there also where you guys can check out the topics on there that I've written on different, you know, from dog training, dog breeds, to prepping in general and uh, equipment reviews. So if you can, check that out. All right, I'm gonna be, this one's a little different. This review is gonna be on a bag that I got for my dog. This supposed to be her bug out bag. Well, there's gonna be two bags to this. I only got one now. Uh, so I want to make sure that I, you know, it was good quality before I purchased another one. And uh, I think it's, it was a good purchase for 10 bucks. I think it was really good. And I wanna show you guys how many pockets, the space in it and everything and how to, you know, kind of hook these to the harness that I'm, I will be talking about that, you know, these are kind of made for. All right, so let me go ahead. This is very similar to the Condor Tactical Deployment Bag, you know, is what they call it. Uh, these are the straps, the strap in the front. You can tie them down, you know, tighten them. And then it has two pockets on the sides, right here and right here. So in the very first pocket, you have four smaller pockets inside, which is pretty cool. You can put like, uh, you, you know, your dog necessities is what's, go, is what's gonna be in here. You know, you don't wanna carry your own dog's, you know, prepping gear. You don't wanna have to carry her food or his food. And then all the, you know, grooming stuff. And then if there's any training stuff that you want, you know, you gotta keep your dog up on training, you know, so they stay proficient at it. It's like any person, if you don't conduct training, if you don't use it, you lose it. So that's pretty much what it is. So you get the four pockets, any groom material, you put a brush in here, nail clipper, anything else, anything else you have for your dog. You know, a little probably a little shampoo bottle, you know, so you can take care of them. Then you have your bigger pocket. And then there's a, like a mesh divider in here. A little mesh, let me see if they get it. Kind of see it. it. Divides the big pocket into two sides, which is cool. So you kind of keep it more organized in there, you know, whatever you put you do put in there. Uh then you get the smaller pockets that, on the side right here, which is pretty cool. You know, you can fit, say, your a Ziploc bag of dog food in here. If you, you know, depending on how big a dog, what's kind of serving, you can fit that in there, stick it in there, and that's your one serving, or that could be, you know, for the whole day, or depending on, you know, how dog, you know, how big your dog is. And then you have the Molly webbing up, up front, which is really cool. So if you have, like, say, you get another pouch, you can stick, you can attach it on there. Same thing with the front, it has the molly webbing. So you can attach more items to this, more pouches if you have to. Uh, and it has another, the same pocket on this side also. So you get you know, the two pockets on the sides. So let me turn it to the rear, so you guys see the back. All right, so this is what goes to the front, and this is actually your handle. So if it's attached, you can actually carry this. So if you want to use this as your personal bag, you can. So you just, that's your carrying handle. And this, these clips right here, these, uh, class is what your you know these are made for human beings but I figured this would be good for a dog so this is the strap for it and it has the clip also so you just attach this strap to these loops on the side and then it'll be a shoulder bag which is pretty cool now one thing that I've noticed on the condor bags that this one does have the condor does not and this is a non brand name bag there's no brand name to this that's probably why it's just 10 bucks. But pretty much all these companies get one manufacturer to make this kind of bag and they just put their own labels on there. That's pretty much what happens. But this must be an upgrade because from what I've seen on the Condor bags is exactly just like this one. Is they do not have these two rings right here. So when you do web this onto your, you say if this uh, tactical harness is what you have to hook this to. Is what I'm going to hook it up to. My dog tactical harness. So usually there's only one. The ones I've seen, there's only one ring or one place where you can weave it into the Molly webbing. This one actually has two. So it makes it a lot secure, a lot more secure when you're weaving it into the, the you know, whatever harness you're hooking it to. Instead of one, it's not gonna have that flex. It's gonna be a lot more sturdy and it's gonna have little flex from the bottom part, you know? Instead of just having one in the middle where you can see it's a lot of flex. So you have two parts that's actually attached to the Molly webbing. It makes it a lot better. So 
If your dog's running, it's less chance of it snagging, ripping. It just may, it's less movement. So when if your dog does run, it's not going to be shifting so much. It's, it's secure and it's going to be more as one piece to the harness than having just one place to weave it into. So that this is big upgrade from what I think when I you know initially check these out is having these two rings right here. And it's a really good thing. Usually in the military, you know, I'm in the army, we always have two places to weave into. All our gear, when we you know if it's Molly webbing, always have two places to weave into. So this is a good upgrade. Overall, the quality of this product I think is really good. Compared to my actual military gear, it's probably pretty much the same material feels like. It's, you know, it has the metal rings on there and the backs are when you're weaving it. The stitching looks pretty good. I haven't seen anything out of place that made look like it was poorly made or poorly manufactured. The stitching looks pretty good. Uh, you know, especially it's for a dog. So the only thing left to do is really to test it in this, uh, you know, in the elements. But uh, that'll be for another day once my dog gets, you know, her harness. So I will be purchasing another one, and it was only ten dollars on eBay. Uh, if you get, I do have, I saved the seller. If you guys are interested in it, he had different colors: coyote brown. Uh, I think it was a Marpat ACU color, a bunch of different colors. So if you want that, just let me know, and I could post up, uh, I guess, the seller's link or whatnot, and you guys could check it out. Um, and then if you guys also want to see the type of harness that I'm gonna get, uh, it's it's an, another, it's an eBay harness. But the thing is, I'm going to, you know, purchase it and see the quality. If it's not good quality, then I'm going to go ahead and, have to, you know, obviously have to purchase a harness that is a lot better quality. And, you know, just fork out that money. But uh, I'd rather save money, test it out, you know, show you guys. Look, you know, you don't have to pay 30, 40 bucks for a bag of this size when you can pay 10 bucks and it's the same quality, you know. You know, not all of us have that money to spend. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you can, subscribe. And, uh like the videos and i hope to see you soon and i got some more products i'll be uh, doing some reviews on you guys god bless and take care and i'll see you guys later bye